Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new Dark Matter Wendell Carter Jr. gameplay. Shout out to my guy Colin for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. We're also going to be doing it with Windows teammate James and Ennis in the lineup as well. Before we hop any further, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing the subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribers. Window Carter Jr. is 6'10", 255 pounds, comes with a 93 three ball base, 90 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 98 block base, 84 steel bases, and 84 perimeter defense, and I'm guessing a 96 interior great rebounding stats 92 speed base 87 speed with ball as well as the 90 lateral quickness tendency wise a 95 driving dunk tendency defensive tendencies for wendell are very very solid all the way across the board 53 out of favors catch shoot quarter specialist from this finisher dimer rim protector chase on his box claims hard crush interceptor intimidator rebound chaser post lockdown worm does come with the hall of fame showtime the other quick first step on pluckable hot zone hunter hall of fame range as well as brick wall you know the badges i might wish were on hall of fame slithery handles for days dead eye those are the main ones i wish he had ankle breaker that's one badge i would definitely give him as well as the steady shooter now the first thing i noticed about window carter jr is i mean the dude don't got a shooting sleeve he don't got a headband he don't got tights but look at him man he looks like he a hooper forget all of that he doesn't have a hot spot from right there i wish he did but everything else about this card looks very solid. He does have the Gallinari base, which if you know me or know anything about my channel, you know I love this release so much. I absolutely love the Gallinari base. As far as centers are concerned, name a center with a better release. I'll wait. I'll wait. I got all day. You can spend all day and you cannot give me a better a better center with a, or a center with a better release. And so that's the thing about window. No matter what you think of the card ultimately and how he plays. The one thing you can't take away is what his release is working with. I've always been a big, big fan of the Gallinari base, and it just seems weird that they gave it to Wendell Carter Jr. Now, let's see the full court dribble six for Wendell. It looks like he can run pretty constant, which is a good sign. Okay, there's a little gallop there, but nothing crazy. Okay, quick stop. Oh my goodness, Wendell. You literally are looking like the best. I'm not trying to gas you up. Because obviously your speed and lateral quickness aren't the best in the game. But this release is making you look like legitimately the, one of the best cards in the game. Now, I, I will say this before we go any further. I do think Wendell Carter Jr.'s best position is the, at the power forward position in competitive type settings. But in this gameplay today, we're going to be running him at center just to see how he is. But Wendell, as far as release wise, is absolutely cash. I don't think anybody's going to disagree. He's only 6'10", though. So we're just going to see. Has a long wingspan how he performs badge wise stat wise release wise windows looking very 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 tough looking at my opponent here sydney moncrief jerry wilkins bailey out jonathan isaac and george mike and decent enough squad but i should get this guy up out of here and i mean windows carter at the center position is a little undersized but for me i didn't i never liked running ad at center i don't like running guys that are his height at center it's just not me showing off the bump steal right there okay window chill 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 we got to get my freelance uh-oh. Uh-oh, window. You killed Sidney Moncrief and put George Mike or Bailey out. I can't tell which dude it is. Into the rim. You literally killed Sidney Moncrief, who is an incredible defensive player. Grab the ball. Oh, yeah, window. I wanted to stop on the break so badly. But just give me another showtime slam instead. We got to do something to change that takeover. No way you tipped that. Uh-oh. Window. Oh, I held it down way too long. I knew that wasn't going in. Come here. I'll take an assist as well. I literally held that release down so much longer. I knew it didn't even have, the white didn't even have a chance to go in because of how bad I missed time that release. Look at the defense he is displaying though. Like early on in this game, it's not even his offense. Offensively, he's been incredible, but it's the defense that's really caught my eye. He had takeover in a minute. Sparky flounder too. Got him up out of here. Not gonna lie, Window Carter Jr. might be the best. He was looking like it in that gameplay. Let's test him out in another game. Next opponent here is Butter My Toast 36. Listen, man, I don't know what that name is. I see you got Larry Johnson. This dude's probably a sweat. If Wendell Carter Jr. puts on any performance like he just did on the defensive end of the court, I'll be sold on the dude. It's not, it's not his stats defensively or his badges. It's just the way he felt. It was just incredible. <laughs> oh my look the dude is only 610 but my goodness window he 
He's. I'm literally so speechless. Obviously, he got kind of blessed right there, but I'm speechless at the animations right now. Yeah, another another Showtime slam for Window. And if you want to run him at center, I mean, you definitely can because Bobo is having so much trouble guarding him. I really wanted to pull up on that break. Hmm. It's fine. I like that energy window. Yeah. Back to window. Chill. Come here. Chill. Just go to the rim. We, eventually, I'm going to get a, re a release off with him, off of a peak, something like that. But for now, I like attacking the rim because that's going to open up the perimeter jump shot for Window. Plus, I mean, he's looked very solid going to the rim. One of the things I like about Window, too, is because he can defend the perimeter, right? If you get guys that are super tall, I feel like they're, the odds of you being able to break them down increase quite a bit. Window from deep, that was way too deep. Probably a bad shot selection right there. Yo, he smoked right there. Oh, my goodness. I wish my window had ankle breaker. That's the one thing about him that he doesn't have on him that I wish he did. That's got to be green, though, Ty. I got to green those shots slightly early. That's fine. I'm not worried at all about window Carter's release. At all. Oh, my goodness. Look at the defensive animations he gets. Or rim. Anything besides glass. That's such a good look. Where am I at early again? I felt like in shoot around, I was slightly late with him quite a bit. So, just, just an adjusting process. Don't throw that. Oh, my goodness. There's no way he got that pass through. Now, what are you going to do? All right, into window. That should give him takeover as well as KD and Siak. That's mine. Thank you. Chill. Back to him. I guess. I guess if you want to send the entire house towards Wenda, I'll make the right play. Get his first assist of the game. Four. Four Wendell. Oh yeah, glass badge. Hey. Ah. Oh my goodness, Wendell. That's a dot. Siak, what in the James Ennis? Get him off of my court. Green. I got a four. That one felt smooth, though. Like, that's that's the one. I live with it because it felt super smooth. That one I knew I was late on. The first one should have been green. Good shot from Wendell. James Ennis, you're never shooting the ball again. Can y'all just back up? Like... Thank you, Window. It's about time I get a green animation. I'm telling you, the one thing he needs is ankle breaker. You gotta stop leaving Window Carter Jr. You have to. His release, even though I've only greened one so far, it's so easy to get off. That's it. that's the one thing about it. It's so quick. It kind of reminds me of AD, like the pressure it puts on defenses. Because, I mean, if you have, like, a Shaq, a Will, those types of guys, even the Kembe, I guess his release is kind of quick. They don't put near the amount of pressure of, of, of some of the other guys. Give me a bucket, Siakam. Just go get me one second assist from Wendell Carter Jr. It's overall been a pretty good start. 23 points. Defensively, we've seen something from Wendell. The ability to switch on to guards is something that I think at the power forward position is just so valuable to have. Or even if you want to run him at the center. That's not me. But if you want to, go ahead and do your thing, chill. End up, Ben. Hey, Ben, I see you putting him into the rim. Come on, stop playing with my window. Like, he's he's not step, man. Up to James Ennis. Anything besides shooting the ball with you might be okay. Window getting done on both ends of the quarters. Butter my toast up out of here. I think we got him out of here. Let's see. Five-second violation. 
Let's check the box score quick so you guys can see. 23 points, one rebound, four assists, three steals for Wendell Carter Jr. He was hoping, man. Now, a lot of times when I do gameplays, I hype players up or, or not. I don't, but I, I'm higher on them than maybe I should be. But here's my thing for Wendell Carter Jr. And I want you guys to hear me out. Compare him right now to Anthony Davis. And I want you guys to watch this because when you compare the cards, they are so similar. They are 6'10", 253 pounds to 255 pounds. Obviously, that AD has a shoe, so let's get one that's not a, that doesn't have a shoe. Minus three in the three ball. Ball handles the same defensive stats. I mean, they go back and forth. If you give Wendell Carter Jr. the defensive Grinches, as well as running D'Antoni, or even if you give him the, the ball handle Grinches at one of those two, in my opinion, he's a better version of Anthony Davis. That's the best way I can say it. He, maybe not better version, but he's another version of Anthony Davis with a better release, in my opinion, than AD. It's really preference between these two cards, but just know that Wendell Carter Jr. reminds me so much of Anthony Davis. And so that when, when you're coming down to how much should I pay for him, pay whatever the gal or pay whatever the dark matter Anthony Davis goes for. Badge-wise, Wendell's better. Release-wise, ben Wendell's better. Stat-wise, AD's got a slight advantage. So it's really all preference. To me, I would probably take Wendell Carter Jr., especially if you give him the speed grin shoot, then it's another level. But Wendell Carter Jr. is absolutely incredible in this game. And do not sleep on my man with the plan. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.